name is Annika Jimenez, and I head data science services at Greenplum. And it, we made a couple announcements yesterday, so it's great to be here this morning to talk a little bit about those. You know, Greenplum, from its inception, has been thinking big, uh, with a focus on building the data system of the future to enable organizations of any size to seize on big data and to transform their business to a predictive enterprise, in effect, to unearth new ways to create value. And so that really is the goal here. It's to take a mountain of data and create nuggets of gold. And to undergo this transformation, we actually think that there's four primary ingredients that need to come together. First, the availability of data, whether it is your structured or unstructured, semi-structured, internally or externally sourced. Two, the computational fabric or the technology, which includes your MPP databases or Hadoop, your statistical toolkits like SAS or open source kits from R and Madlib. Three, it's your applications to actually operationalize insights to action. And then four, finally, of course, data science. So my team is actually out there in the trenches uh, working to architect these data science-driven transformations. And we're doing this across a lot of different industries, across energy, healthcare, life science, uh, um, uh, communications, retail, CPG, et cetera. And I found that while it's really easy for me to come up here and point to these four boxes, in reality, there are still significant barriers. In effect, the silos that make collaboration across these four areas very difficult. And so the result is that the data scientist is now becoming this change agent this change agent that is helping to break down these barriers and silos working across the organization. They're no longer just these priests and priestesses of, um, of programming and stats working in relative obscurity. So ironically, this actually sets up the two biggest challenges facing big data and data science today. One the need for a platform that can bring these critical components together, and two, the need for more data scientists to actually help cultivate these transformations. What's needed then is a fully realized platform for data science, one that's readily available, that is facilitating self-service, and that is easily downloadable, and at the same time, we need to actually flip the resource problem and, in effect, turn the data science marketplace upside down. So first, Chorus is the collaboration platform for data science. It allows data scientists to bring together their data uh, along with the preferred tools to power agile iteration and it allows them to share insights and collaborate and ultimately drive operationalization of their models. Because when you are actively pulling together your structured and your unstructured data, the wonderful tools that we're going to be learning more about through the course of this week here at Strata, the metadata associated with your data initiatives, as well as increasingly the people who are the influencers of success across the four components that I mentioned earlier, this is when you're really going to start fuel, uh, fueling innovation beyond the capabilities of the computational platform. And so I want to be really clear and kind of re-emphasize this point, right? Because when you're really cross-pollinating knowledge from different areas of expertise from across your organization and even beyond, this is when you start to ignite that true spark of unexpected and delightful innovation. And so, in a word then, the ultimate big data technique is actually collaboration. And in order to make Chorus more readily available to data scientists and partners, and um, to, uh, to bring people together, 
We announced yesterday, and re-announcing here in this room with you all, that we um, are making Course available as open source. So today, you can actually go now to opencourse.org and get started while I'm talking. So we're working on the, re on the platform problem, but what about the data scientists? We also talked a little bit about that. I'm also equally excited today to be able to announce that we've joined forces with our friends at Kaggle to bring the supply of data scientists from Kaggle to Chorus and together deliver a data, sci data science marketplace. And with that, I'm also delighted to actually invite the CEO and founder of Kaggle, Anthony Goldblum, to the stage to talk a little bit more about this exciting partnership. Thanks, Danica. So I think I've been to every Strata conference uh, since the first one in uh, Silicon Valley at the beginning of last year. And it's almost, there's a bit of a kind of running joke uh, at each of the conferences I've been to so far. At the end of every presentation, uh, the presenter will say, oh, and by the way, my company is hiring. Um, and yeah, it's, you know, Aside from, you know, it's a running joke at the conference, but it's, it really points to the most pernicious issue uh, facing data science at the moment, and that is a, a, a massive skill shortage. And so this integration between Kaggle and Chorus is, as far as we're concerned, the first really serious attempt to bridge that, uh, bridge that skill shortage problem. Um, so for those of you who don't know, what Kaggle does is we're a, a platform for data mining competitions. Um, so what we, we have a community of 60,000 data scientists who will compete on data sets. And, and really what we're doing is we're exploiting the fact that you know, data science is not like most professions. You can objectively measure which data scientists are doing well and which data scientists aren't doing well on a given problem. And so just like the ATP ten tennis tour, where you know, tennis players compete throughout the year, our 60,000 data scientists have competed in about 150 competitions to date. And to continue the analogy, you know, just as Roger Federer and, and uh, Novak Djokovic are the number one and two ranked uh, tennis players in the world, uh, on the screen we have uh, Xavier Canor and Jason Tigg, who are the number one and two ranked data scientists in the world. And, um, and so now with this integration with Chorus, any, anybody using Chorus can actually see, so Kaggle data scientists can opt in to doing contract work with Chorus, through Chorus, um, and any Chorus users can actually bring up a module that shows you Kaggle data scientists, their rankings, uh, and you know, th those who have, have opted into doing work through this platform. So I think uh, Marcus uh, Wilson of Wired Magazine called it, um, said Chorus is now shipping with data scientists. Um, so, you know, fr from our perspective, this is a really exciting opportunity for our data scientists. It gives, you know, the, some of our elite a chance to market their skills in a way they haven't had the, the opportunity. It opens up a new market for them. Uh, and for Chorus customers, it gives them a chance to, to you know, solve, to uh, address the most difficult challenge that many of them are facing, which is access to data scientists. Awesome. So thank you, Anthony. Um, and, you know, this is really what we mean by thinking big together. It's... Chorus, a collaboration platform for data science, now available as open source. It's our partnership with Kaggle to deliver an entirely new data science marketplace. Uh, and together, these two things are actually really big. They're focused on trying to solve the two biggest challenges facing big data and data science today. Uh, and we hope with these two things that organizations will be able to start reaching their true inner predictive enterprise. Uh, and with that, um, you might want to learn more. Uh, so you can go to uh, chorus, openchorus.org. You can visit kaggle.com. Uh, and you can also uh, see the demonstration of Chorus and Open Chorus tomorrow being led by um, my colleague Mike Maxey uh, um, uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, and then you can also come by and visit us at our booth. Thanks very much.